Hello, okay, now I'm going to do the sidebar in WordPress using Genesis theme and we want the sidebar to look like this um, and at the moment it looks like this so with developer tools if we want to make the whole of that widget sort of light browny cream in colour uh, we can see that it uses a selector called dot sidebar dot widget and that's on line 1122 of the style. So I go into Dreamweaver, that's command comma in a Mac and gets it to that line. I'm just going to get the background colour from the Photoshop document with the colour picker. There it is. So if we go into the style that will be the background colour and the border, the layer style, there's your border colour. So you put that in there for the border colour. Save that and if you re refresh there you can see that the widget sidebar is starting to look right. Of course we've got this header colour as well so we get the magnification icon and find out in the CSS this is dot widget area h4 and it's on line 856 in the style widget area there it is and we want to get rid of the background colour of that so there's a border bottom we don't want that as well. Save that and refresh you can see that doesn't really line up with the rest of the content area and that will be on a padding and we can move that a little bit even more so we can copy that padding and put it back into the widget area H4 and put that padding in there save and Nothing will change there as we just changed it in the developer tools. Okay, so now we need to create the widgets. Here it is again. We're going to try and create these three elements in the sidebar. I've created these already. Widgets, when you don't want to use them anymore, you can pull them down here and drag them back up again and they'll still have the same values that you put in. So here's a bit of HTML that I made for those buttons. Just very simple HTML. And here's the second one. Just a button and a line of text. And then if you update that, there are those two widgets. I did of course create some CSS for, for these widgets. So thirdly we should have one that has latest from the blog. So that is a widget that already exists. Uh, it already comes with WordPress I should think. So for that one we need the recent posts, posts widget. And we have the title here which is latest from the blog. Save that one and refresh and there we are.